high. So what does photography mean to you? This is a question that I'd love you to just hold with you while I tell a little bit of my story. I had a bit of a rough time at school, uh, quite badly picked on, and um, I didn't really do myself any favours. One particular time comes to mind when I was with my mum and we were going to pick my school uniform and we're in a shop called Scholars and um, I remember specifically my friends at school saying to me whatever you do don't get the v-neck jumper just go for the round neck just get a round neck and you'll be fine right well we went to Scholars my mum and I it's hilarious now and I remember the jumpers, mum got the two jumpers out, a v-neck and a round neck, and I, I knew that I just wanted this round neck jumper, right, so I could still hear my friends saying, don't get the, don't get the v-neck. So mum said, oh, why don't you try them both on? So I tried them both on, and I said, um, I, I just, I'd like the, I'd like the round neck if that's all right. I still remember looking at my mum's face, right, it was kind of like this. Oh, but the v-neck looks so lovely. She did the head tilt thing, you know that thing. And I didn't want to disappoint my mum, so I remember saying, all right, mum, I'll get the v-neck. When I went to school wearing this v-neck jumper, I still remember my friends looking at me and going, Claire, what have you done? What did we tell you? You know, like it reflected badly on them because I had this v-neck jumper and I was hanging out with them, you know, it wasn't good. And there's only one other girl in the whole of my year with a v-neck jumper. Her name was Emily. Naturally, Emily and I became good friends. Anyway, the bullying really did get worse. Like, it got pretty bad to the point that I remember having people wait. Oh yeah, you're right people waiting on the um, on the school gates for me you know threatening threatening to to kick my head in and um, I dreaded going to school I absolutely I was absolutely terrified to go to school every day and then in year nine I remember getting the um, the bits of paper with the the course descriptions on you know for GCSE and I remember reading the photography course description and I remember feeling this little tiny bit of excitement in me you know it just sounded amazing the course just really resonated with me and I just remember thinking oh yeah this sounds great so photography the photography course started and I got stuck straight in I got on really really well with my teacher straight away she shared an excitement for everything that I was doing you know which was ace sorry about the changing um, light in this video um, and very very quickly the photography room the dark room and everything about that place became my safe space you know I felt good there I enjoyed the course and I started going every day after school. I would go straight after school, I'd go down to the photography room and just lose myself in extra work to the point where the caretaker actually, um, he used to lock up the rest of the school and he used to come down to the photography room last so that I would get maximum time in that I could be in that, in that room, you know, because he could see how much I was enjoying it. And through spending all this extra time doing photography every day after school, I got pretty good at it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You are right. Yeah, lovely day, yeah? Yeah, that was beautiful, isn't it? And I remember, um, I remember I got, I got, as I say, I got good at photography and I remember this time, this, it's etched in my memory, you know? 
my teacher was really busy with a lot of other students and I'd come out of the dark room and there was literally a queue of like my peers queuing up with their dark room trays and they needed some help you know they needed to know how many extra seconds to expose this paper for and they were queuing up to ask me you know because the teacher was busy they would be like oh Claire I, I did the shot but what filter do you reckon I should use or do you reckon I could you should use a filter or how many extra seconds do you think I should expose it for and I loved that and I loved helping them and very soon I noticed well I didn't notice I can see it now looking back I can literally see it now that photography was not only bringing me this safe space um, something I really loved and enjoyed and was getting good at but also it was it was kind of earning me this respect you know and giving me this amazing sense of purpose through my friends and helping my friends so I knew I wanted to, I knew, I absolutely knew I wanted a, a career in photography um, from when I was at school. And that's what I saw myself working towards. Um, when I came out of school, I went straight down to the local um, photography studio, introduced myself to John. Actually, I was, I was still in school because John came to my exhibition, which was Ace. Um, and from there I started, um, working for various portrait photography companies and setting up my own business in photography and I think the magical thing about a career in photography is that the photography industry sits shoulder to shoulder with so many other amazing industries you know fashion um, media film TV um, music sport you know there's there's so many kind of neighboring industries that very quickly you can build up an amazing community or contact base you know you've you've got opportunities that can come in from all directions giving you plenty of variety and also is supportive of other creative pursuits because you're you're kind of rubbing shoulders with lots of different people doing lots of other creative stuff, you know. So, I'm going to take this ribbon off because I feel like it might be blowing in the wind and... Excuse me. Oh, dear. I hope you couldn't hear that in the video. Um, So, yeah, so I knew that I wanted to make a career out of something that I loved because I thought, do you know what, I love photography that much that if I make a career out of this, it won't feel like I'm going to work, you know? It will just, it will feel like play all the time. And I was positive that that's what I wanted to do. Now, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the exhaustion masking neurodiversity but have you noticed that when you step into that creative energy you are energized you know you can be you can be feeling so demotivated and so exhausted and so overloaded and overwhelmed and and you pick up a camera or you or you or you lose yourself in some photography editing or something creative not necessarily photography music art anything creative and that energy of creation literally nourishes you from the inside and so photography as a as a, a study as a course is very very supportive of of other academic subjects that you could be doing because it gives you that boost of energy, you know? So photography, photography for me hasn't just been a career, it's been this, this bolster. It's been my safe place, it's been my happy place, it's been a place that I make friends, it's been a place that I build amazing contacts and have amazing experiences, 
it's been an energizer at times it's felt like it's saved my life quite literally and now there's a swing bridge coming which means I have to jump off the boat and open the thing so where was I going with this? Two more minutes. Just slow down a little. Um, so what does photography mean to you? And what could it mean to you? And would you like it to be more in your life than what it currently is? Do you notice that when you're with your camera, you're at peace or you know, the, the experiences that it brings to your life. It, bring, it gets you out in nature, it gets you out with other people. There's so many different types of photography that nourish you in different ways. Have you noticed that, that that's where you feel most yourself? And would you like to build on that? Um... I'm so aware of the swing bridge now. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I would love to know if photography is something that you would like to take further in your life or whether you just love it as your escape, your hobby. It is that place that you get away from work and so you like to keep it that way that it's that it's your your free time and you want to keep it that way or would you like to make it into a career or do something more with it or would you like it would you like to travel more would you just would love to hear from you guys anyway um, I'm gonna go get some shoes on and open this swing bridge and I will see you all again soon have a fantastic day, weekend, night, morning, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. Love and light to you all. Bye.